Graf Harenberg of Germany, your video referee from Egypt, Ashraf Hussein. Half time. Welcome back, viewers. We're into the last match in this afternoon session here at the Black Bull Squash Open 2023. The Beast of Alexandria, Mohamed El Shabagi, seeded five, up against the baby faced assassin, back in action, looking as silky as ever, Karim Abdul Gawad. Looking forward to this one, and I'm going to be going through it with you, together with Lisa Aitken. Lisa, I'm feeling pretty excited about this one. Yeah, I am too. It's certainly my pick for the afternoon session. I'm excited to see what Babyface Assassin can bring to this. It's quite the test for him. So, if prior to this tournament, Gawad has been off the scene for a long, long time. Ten month hiatus, and it was at the World Champs in Cairo, in that incredible venue where you were commentating, Lisa, with me, just in front of the new National Museum. Gawad was struggling a lot with his foot despite that sleep, a slip there. Yeah, it was very. Yeah, the heel problem, as you see there, the shake of the foot, he was out of there at two love, six love down. But the, with that that was just the, the end of a long sort of saga where Gawad had had so many problems for a long period of time. Yeah, absolutely. It needed to be addressed. It was sad, sad for him, obviously, but painful as well for us viewers. We want to see him at his best. We want to see him able to exploit everything that he can and all the opponents that he plays. One of the most, if not the most skillful player on the men's tour, when he's not at his best, it's just painful to watch. You just want want him to go away and sort it out and come back Time. fighting, and finally we have it. It's exciting to see. It's just nice to have him back around the environment. A player like him deserves to be at his best and deserves to be on, on tour fighting fit. Yeah, he's another one of this, uh, this generation in the coming out of the juniors, played the World Juniors in 2008, entered the tour, just after that and in this last 10 to 15 years he's he's another excitement machine he's he's got so many different ways to finish the ball at the front signatures probably that backhand hole drop which he's just practicing now but the beast will know all about that he's got plenty of experience playing him lisa yeah he does and he'll make sure that tactically he's looking to hit the ball into areas of court where he can take that strength away seconds. from gawad starve him of the opportunities to hit into this front left not giving him time as well to use that hold. He'll be looking to come out with a bit of quite intense a, with the pace. Is that a sign of what he wants to do, you think? Well, I mean, it's a, <laughs> a dead giveaway, but I think Play if you were to watch Gawad in solo seconds. practice, it would look like the exact same thing. When it feels so good to hit it in there, you just want it again and again. Just poetry motion, isn't it? We're just watching him warm up here a little bit. 
Black Ball Squash Open 2023 Men's Round 2 Match. Mohamed El Shabogi. Well, interesting to see the players Karim both wearing Abdel white t-shirts. Of Egypt to receive best of five games. Yeah, now the high, high seeded player has has uh, hierarchy here and order. It's interesting. Central referee Ralph Harenberg has not noticed it that they're both wearing a white shirt. So, he's missed it, Level. and the players have decided that the logo on the front of uh, El Shabagi's shirt, besides the fact he's a fair bit taller than Gawad, Gawad sporting the blue One shorts. Left. My eyes don't deceive me. And now. One so deceptive, just unbelievable the way he can adjust that action there on that volley of return of serve and deceive Shabagi. No let. Yeah, for me. No, the, the ball was too deep. Matt Rally is exactly what Shabagi will be looking to do. Jump onto the volleys, Hand play out. at high pace, stretch out Gawad, test the movements and the physicality of him, and maintain that for as long as he can. Sending a message in this first game about how tough this can be and is going to be consistently. Hand out. To all. And now, 3 2. El Shabagi won't be uh, too troubled about exchanging points this quick as long as he keeps his nose in front. He's one of the best back end game players that we've seen, Lisa. He's, yeah. he's got a ten, sometimes even in these early rounds, I'm not, not particularly against Gawad, but against perhaps lesser likes where he, he'll just mosey his way to seven all and then he'll put the foot to the gas and, and finish things off. Yeah, he absolutely will. I think he, player I think he would prefer to have these the no initial... Let, don't talk, we look the replay and then... This, I feel here that Shabagi has not done a whole lot wrong there, and, and Gawad's not trying to access the line to the left-hand side. You see here, he's just gone straight into his back yep, there. Yeah, that was a perfect angle to see that one. You really could see the ball off to the left-hand side of the court. A bit of, bit of a clutter also into Shabagi's back with the arm. Shabagi just brushing it off like nothing happened. It's good to see. Oof, that was a wallop. Yeah, it was. Hopefully no damage to the soft tissue or ribs. Got a let there, that's quite fortunate because Ralph Herrenberg has already given Gawad a no yes, let and it was clear that he was trying to set that line and the video ref sort of deviated away from that. You also don't want to encourage that type of movement into the back of players, which by awarding the let you are saying that yes, that is okay to do. Very fast stuff, quick pace. That's so intentional from El Shabagi, forcing Gawad to play at this tempo. He's getting sucked into it. Slightly laboured movement there. It's exactly what El Shabagi is looking to do. That that type of rally is perfect. He's gonna he's gonna keep trying to implement that pace, that r rushingness of Gawad. Yeah, he's, he's a, there's a real intensity out there that Shabagi can bring. <laughs> really thundering that drive through. Really yeah. good work here from Shabagi, stretching Gawad to all ends of the court. 
Shut up. And that is exactly what you were talking about, Lisa. That is a, right the about, type of rally please. that will bring a big smile to his face. It's just sheer pressure, isn't it? It's relentless. I, I expect Gawad to be able to hang in this first game with that level of intensity, and then I think there's going to be a drop-off. I think we're going to see the change in pace from Gawad, using the, the height on the front wall a lot more to slow proceedings. But this is just torture. Well, you can't be 10 months out and then hop into this very, very hot environment, centre stage here in Black Ball against the Beast and not feel the pinch. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Against a hungry beast, a very informed, fit beast at that. But at the same time, Johnny, these are the sort of matches that he needs on paper. It's all fine and well playing Seven. practice matches and getting sharp there, but this is the real deal. This is the real pressure. This is the test. And it's just getting matches like this in the bank. You can just see that move. The movement is just not quite where Eight. it needs to be from Gawad. Obviously, the quality is phenomenal from El Shabagi. Good adjustment there from Shabagi. Had to take that ball in front of his body. He's not missing a trick, though. Beautiful use of the hands down low in the front. Down. Just a bit lazy on that one. Pointing to his head. Yeah. Pen down. Three. Got eight. all faculties mentally just absolutely firing here, Shabagi. You can see it. He's come. He's come ready for Gawad. He would have seen what Gawad did in the in the first match to do so. The bagel in game two. So he's not leaving anything to Pen chance down. here. Nine three. Laboured from Goad. 10-3, game ball. So it's been a quick start for Shabagi. It's really a dream start. He's turned up the pressure cooker, asked those questions about Goad's movement, and Goad's not been able to answer them so far. No. And he puts that in the tin, and that is a very, very fast first game. game. El Shabagi and, and Greg Goltier, who I believe will be watching this from Luxembourg, Lisa. Be very happy with that one. One love, Shabagi, in eight minutes. Well, dream start, as you said, Johnny, but it's all credit to how El Shabagi has warmed up and come out in this first game, all guns blazing. So intentional with how he's hitting the ball, the pace that he's using, the hunt for every volley. It's almost like he's annoyed when he can't volley it. Can he half volley it? Anything to take it early and really rush Goad, forcing him into some uncomfortable positions there. You actually can see the tint of blue in that T-shirt. <laughs> well spotted, Lisa. Even a bit of turquoise, perhaps. Omar Abdelaziz in Gawad's corner, very animated as usual. His hands and everything was going ballistic the other day. In Play the will corner. resume in 60 seconds. Well, after a game like that, you're in... You're in Abdulaziz's shoes, that is no easy task that you have in front of you. Especially if you know that Gawad, he really, there's got to be serious doubts about the physical reserves he would have to be able to engage in the kind of squash that he needs to play to sort of push a baggy back. Yeah, well, he's not, at this point, not going to be able to contest in those grueling rallies. That's the thing. Shabagi's able, got the ability to go on and on and have long rallies. Seconds. So Gawad's going to look to, to punch in short and attack when he can with his skill and his hold, but... If he just doesn't get that quite right, he just completely opens up the court for El Shabagi to just gobble it up. Seconds. It's going to be much of the same from El Shabagi in this second game. You can see in his body language and his intent with his hitting here. He's just looking alert, alive, thriving in this match. El Shabagi leads one game to love. Love off. Well, his coach also knows a lot about Karim Abdul Gawad, and he had a 9 3 record against him, so it's a good bloke to have in your corner. Somebody that experienced the same big stages that they're on here and knew how to handle the shot making of uh, Gawad.
That's a loose one there. There's going to be a stroke. Shabagi took on a risky sort of straight drop there where he was quite close to the sidewall. And that's where that sometimes you just got to pull out of those shots. Just realise that you're not going to be able to get your big body out of the way. Yes, lad. <laughs> Player the... review, Gavard on the yes, let decision. Clear the ball was loose, but we'll have a look at this and see. Has Gawad, it's the thing about it is, and we've been seeing this all tournament, you cannot put your racket on the fault on the other side of your opponent. There's no reason for him on a backhand shot to be wrapping his racket round on the other side. I agree should, with you, Johnny. He should be reaching forward. Stroke to Gavat, decision overruled. Gavat has four reviews remaining. Left box, two left. Gavat pinched one there, and given that he got absolutely obliterated in game one, this is the kind of start that he needed. What sort of thing do you think Abdelaziz was saying to him, slowing the pace down? Trying to, trying to find ways to break up the rhythm in the... Uh, I think that it's pretty clear that Gawad is, is searching for that front court press. He's going to take the game on. There's no doubt about that. But perhaps he might have said to him just to use more conventional hitting, no. such as the low kill drive and the cross, rather than right using bottom, angles. Please. Three left. Shabagi's oh. going short though. It's... That touch. I know, Lisa, but why is Shabagi going short at three love down and with nothing oh, on it? It's just and applauding it. Yeah, I mean it's a great shot. It deserves an applause. Just a drop off in concentration, going for a cross court nick off return of serve. Yeah, and, and that's the just that revamping from Shabagi. He can One feel four. he knows that he needs to just steer this in a different direction because. Danger signs are up already. Another cross court nick attempt. And see, this is better straight away. As soon as you see those heavy lines dragging Gawad back diagonally he's not his defense is not quite there Two, four. that stability and the shot that's stretching him out a little bit more well that's a response what a response loose serve from El Shabagi and now five two ball dropping off that he reached the side wall but just dropping right into the volley zone of Gawad Talking about that front court press, Johnny, if there's an opportunity for him to play in there. Well, listen to that. Three, Talk about self five. pumping up. Well, he's absolutely furious to drop points here. El Shabagi, it's a tremendous attitude. It is. It is. He's, I mean, he, nobody's got more self-awareness than him about situational sort of things that need to be addressed. Down. Just lost the balance, though, hasn't he? He's and lost that, that heavy line hitting Six, balance. Three. It's just in the middle of the court, Johnny. Stretch, see there? Stroke Getting the reward Gawad. from actually stretching Gawad into the corners. Hand out for six. Yes. Done that a few times in this. I think he's really struggling with uh, the sweating. There's seen the players that are heavy sweaters. That intensity of that lighting in that court sort of really amps that up a bit. Oh, that's a, oh, that is a sneaky, sneaky shot. Five, six. 
a vicious leisure centre, I'd call it. Oh, that's some wrist manipulation out the back corner, that one. I'd be impressed to see that kind of shot at the leisure centre. Oh, wow. As he just not uh, sarcastically nudges the ball at him. Seven, five. <laughs> Knowing full well that that's what Gower does. He's got that scoreboard problem a little bit, uh, Shabagi, that he knows he gave away those cheap ones and no. he has to manage it now and he's doing and it very well so six, far. Seven. And we'll let off the hook. Well, this is definitely the uh, quickest sort of 15 minutes of squash seen between these two. To be closing in on the back end of game two already. Well, we've seen him practice it before the match. Give Gawad an opportunity to play that into Hello. the front left, and he will. And more often Eight, than not, it'll be a six. winner. On a scale of things, I reckon for his drop standards, it was probably about a seven and a half out of 10 <laughs> as well. It still wins the point. I'll tell you, for me, it was a 12 out of 10. <laughs> I would say you that's a fair call, Vanessa. Uh, yes, almost called you Vanessa, Please sorry. Call no, you didn't almost, you uh, did. Yeah, I did now. I've, I've been... I think he's I think he's going a little bit left there towards Gowad. I think he can go around him. That sort of distorts it a little bit for me here. That's the view there. The, the, just that left foot going a little bit. I think it's a let. And it stays as a let. Yes, left. Decision of power. El Shabagia, three reviews remaining. Eight, six. Who's going to win this one? This game or the match? Yep, the, the game. El Shabagi. Okay, good call. You're brave. Still got a bit of work to do. It's about containment, isn't it? And then still being aggressive with his hitting. He is. But the, the difference between the, the first and the second game is there's a little bit of a drop off in the ball. And when he's not just making sure he's stretching Gawad into positions like that, he's not seen the joy from the backcourt. It's just been a drop off in quality. That see that there is just not good enough in terms of accuracy. One step. The last three shots have been one step for Gawad to get back, to and then a stroke. It's not good enough by El Shabagi's standards. We weren't seeing that in the first game. The quality was there Nine, to the back. He was getting six. him into stretch positions and rushing him. The pace is still there, but the accuracy is gone. He's opening it up as well. That's an invitation for problems. If he gives Goward, he got it. He's managed, managed to thread that through. Seven, nine. I think he'll back himself here. I feel he's going to go. Shabaki's going to take it in now as well. It's going to be a bit of a shootout here. Welcome reprisal for Gawad, just that pressure being lifted due to the loss of accuracy of El Shabagi and then perhaps just a few wrong choices early in the game and he finds himself now down game three game balls and that is loose. Throw to Gawad. It's been dealt with accordingly with a penalty point, Gawad. 11-7. Turn around, we didn't wall. quite see coming. One Thought Al Shabagi more. sort of had a, a very strong grip on things, but he's given Gawad a bit of a lifeline here, and now it's one game all.
Well, Gawad's leveled up. El Shabagi has allowed him to. The ball just dying off a little bit. And the ball isn't travelling as fast off the front wall through to the back corners as it was for El Shabagi in the first game. Accuracy dropping off means that Gawad is no longer being stretched out into positions he was finding uncomfortable in that first game. Some blistering winners into the front left as we expected when he would get his chance. He's standing now, Lisa, so... <laughs> was excited. He's, he's excited. His tactics worked after the first game, so he's feeling confident. Tell you what, he's very, very close also in your face. I'm player not sure that that was my style as a player. Seconds. I'm not sure I would have wanted that. Well, certainly when I'm breathing like the clappers, it's the last thing I want in my face in between games, but it is... It is his typical approach. We've seen it, seen it yesterday. Yeah, and uh, Gawad is as easy going and as relaxed as Garfield. It won't bother him at all. Well, another light blue Play will shirt on for Gawad. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. One game all. Go on to serve. Lavo. So go on now with the bit between the teeth and one game all. No let. It's another no let. Both players have got that wrong a couple of times in the match so and far. Now, one left. Easy access there for Goa to just go round and get it. Oh, look at the face. Head jutting there, reminiscent of his coach, Greg Goltier. Nobody jutted the head more than he did. Oh. Yeah, that There's movement, just... yeah, it's, like, it's just not the Gawad that we know of old who would be in there. Not yet. Three love. But again, the movement being tested from the front to back quality from El Shabagi. Well, there's, been, there's a clear adjustment here in what Shabagi's doing. These balls are being hit at sort of medium three-quarter pace. He's just taking a bit of pace out, helping with the accuracy, and that has sorted things out very quickly. Well, uh... Court and, uh, just does that, I think, doesn't it? The, the quick front wall. And like you said, the ball dropping off, it's so tempting to want to just take that shot on. Yeah, you knew it was going in. Doesn't matter if he holds it. Two seconds, five seconds. Two, four. Oh, I sent him every type of message that you could possibly imagine, and he knows after having played him 21 times on the PSA Tour, he's seen enough of them. actually showing a bit of emotion. You don't see that too often, so that shows you how good this shot was. Have a look at it, just enjoy it. Three, that four. is absolutely sublime. And as smooth as Shabagi started in this game, another reminder of why this guy is a former world champion, world number one. No, it's not high enough to fall. And out, five, three.
good lifting from Shabagi. But just the, the rashness there. Doesn't need to play that shot. Could be just a volley deep to that backhand Four. side. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen a really gut-busting rally. I'd like to see El Shabagi put in a few of those, put some work into Gawad. Exactly like you said, it doesn't need to be... That shot doesn't need to happen that soon in the rally. Oh, wow. It's it's yes, very, man. very tidy exchange from both there up the front. Unfortunately, ending in a let. I would have liked to see that one go on. Four, five. Down. Just slightly awkward there. Shabagi Five, just misjudging four. that one. And now we have a game on our hands again. All level. Oh, it's just a drop feast from Gowart. He's obliging on every opportunity to go with that straight drop. It's a very, very untimely error from Shabagi. Are we seeing signs of just a slight wobble? It's mentally? almost like tactically he's not sure what he should be doing. The response whenever right, he's well. lost one or two points in a row has been to just Six, hit the ball harder five. in the next rally, not necessarily about where he's placing the ball. Exactly like he came out at the start of this game, just taking the pace off and making sure he's got his accuracy and he's hitting his targets was as simple as that sounds. It was what was stretching out Gawad and giving him opportunities to attack into the front. Yes, lad. Six, five. He's going to need all of his... Uh mental wherewithal to navigate his way through these tricky waters again. Oh. oh, he'd be very thankful that Gawad just completely miscued that one. You don't see that too often. And now, six. He's oh. far too close to that ball, having to adapt with his wrist. Well, one all, six all. <laughs> Question's coming in a second, Lisa. Wait for it. On the no let decision. No talking. I accept the release. <laughs> so, John Massarella's got his style, but so does Ralph Herrenberg. There's always a bit of a cheeky laugh there. Don't think that that is a let. Come on, put himself in that position with that very loose cross court. Shabagi was there, read it. Quick hand adaption. I think Gowan needs to go and play that. Shabagi's tried to let him through as well. <laughs> Ralph's having a chat with the video ref. Thank you. No let. Decision <laughs> upheld. Gawad has three reviews remaining. Seven, six. Oh, Shabagi's livid. I'm going to have a look at it. I'm not sure that he's going to get much joy, though. Let's have a look, Lisa. It's all about this volley drop. No, that's just natural motion for me. 100%. 
Shvaki was just too tired on his body. Understandably, because he knew the pressure he was under. That backhand volley drop drop from Gawad has just has been lethal since game one. Well, naturally, where he's, the ball's come into the middle of the court for Gawad. He's just taken his stance and then moved naturally off the ball. And the right leg had already ha had that position. Hand out. Seven, Who's going to win this game? Hand out. Oh. Seven all. You're less confident about the Shivagi call now, that's a little for sure. Bit, just I thought that was a bit of a desperate response. A bit of an overexcited one. Oh, silence. Yeah, Gawad, big, big Gawad knows there. One. He knows that he put himself in that position and Shivagi did collect him a little on the, on the, in the process of playing the shot, but it wasn't his fault. I think El Shabagi's just going to sneak this one, and no, I, I do think I do think he will. But I'm I'm, I'm worried about the the response when he goes a couple of points down. It, it's it's just a bit rash. It's not really in control. I think it's got a lot to do with just that 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 edginess, the nervousness of playing someone like Gawad and not having seen. You know, he's ten months off the tour, and well, it's a sign of respect as it well, is, isn't yeah, it? Massively. He, he knows the the threat that Gawad possesses. That's it. Absolutely stretched Gawad out. Just worked that rally a lot better. Nine, That's what it's all about, seven. isn't it? Using using that that powerful forearm, the short jab swing that he has, getting it past Gawad, and then he can close it down with with the straight balls. And we see it again. So it looks simple enough. It's easy to talk about. Ten, seven, but El Shabagi's done very well here to just organise himself, get himself into a very strong position to go 2-1 up. Down. Again, he'd be asking himself, why didn't he just defend that down the wall? It was tight. Still another two game balls. That's a very sloppy area, and that is going to give, I reckon that will give El Shabagi the shot in the arm that he needs, Lisa, to really gather his confidence together. I think that that could be the death knell for Gawad. El Shabagi, 2-1, did well there to just tidy that up at the end of game three. Well, the games are getting longer in duration, but just how much has Gawad got left? With the, with the way that El Shabagi is going to come out in this next game. He did well to close that out, played the business end really well. A couple of incidents with a bit of tangle in the middle of the court. But for me, the difference was when El Shabagi is stretching out the court, making it feel absolutely massive for Gawad. He's getting the most joy. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Well, Abdulaziz looks like he's doing some kind of pantomime theatre performance as Gawad tries to take it all in. Did see Marwan. He will resume in. He's got a day seconds. off. He's in the building, and it's David Campion, of course, helping El Shabagi, who now represents England. I can't imagine Camps will be doing much talking. Fifteen seconds. French general 
He's tuned in in Luxembourg. Big shout out to him. Be feeling a bit relieved that El Shabaki managed to just get that 2 1 lead and edge ahead now. Lovely, lovely drop. Just good awareness to Shabaggy. He One sensed low. that he needed to play that ball down the line, even though it was loose. Down. Oh, that's a miss. That's a big miss. He's got Gawad Park Hello. behind him. One all. Good hands all from both players, but Shabagi had to double up there with the fast volleys. Stroke to go up. Lost the hold of the racket there, the grip perhaps, and that caused the error with the stroke. Two, one. Oh, well. Typically, we Hello. see Gawad hitting that shot oh. from that area. Um. Shabagi, the same backswing of a straight drive, but really slowing it down at the last second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. I mean, Shabagi was standing right there. Gawad knew it. And now. And he saw it a mile away, but it didn't help. Two. Flat as a pancake. what was happening there to be fair there's been absolutely Three, no real drop off from Gawad in terms of intensity the only thing that we're seeing is the stretched out when Shabag is able to make that court feel massive just good. in that stretched out position there's just not the stability and the strength good point right there good point though so it suggests that yeah he's he's the work that he's put in means that his reserves are not too bad, but there are just those very, and very now. deep movements still need time to come back fully, but he's on a good way, that's for sure. So much subtlety is going on with what Gawad's doing with the racket. I don't even know where to begin. And he was happy to right, play the long game in that rally. He's, like you said, he's. I think there's, there's, a, there's a bit of belief growing in Gawad that, that he can go the distance here. Out. Certainly was one of the longer rallies we've had in the match. Can he back it up? Oof. Close. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. that's a big, that's a miss for someone like Go on on sitting on a ball like that. Had a good look. Oh, oh. Usually rips those cross court with a massive hole. We'll forgive him. Ten months out. <laughs> Going with the left leg there. all the time. Doesn't go with the right leg there, and, and that's that's the heel. That, oh, whether it's more of a sorry, oh, that's big slip. That's unfortunate for Shivagi there. Really unfortunate. Thankfully, no issue. Okay with the court oh. or court service. Okay. It was really awkward, Lisa. Was, could Five, have been four. Could have been ugly. Drop that with a hold off a three wall boast. I mean, David Palmer used to get right up to the front Six, wall, but that one was four. that one was difficult. I'm loving that, it's amazing. Oof, I just was about to say it needs a response from El Shabagi, and that's Seven, the wrong one. Four. Are we going to five, Johnny? I'm going to say yes. I'm just not seeing in this last five minutes that control down the lines from Shabagi. It's Goward and then these sort of errors is very uncharacteristic of Shabagi. It is, but it's a very high drop Eight, into front left, four. which we know is a danger area for Goward. Gawad's managed, you know, we talked about Shabagi stretching Gawad out. Gawad on the other side of it has stretched Shabagi in those front corners over and over the whole match. He's actually moving a lot better now than he was at the very beginning of the game. Nine, four. Well, I can safely say that we're going to five. Ten to four, game ball. As Lee Drew would say, you've heard it here live, we're going to five. <laughs> uh, he's a poet and he didn't know it. And out. Five, ten, game ball. Now Shabagi. Really up against it here as he just is going to go forward for a forward court press in the hope that he can pinch a few perhaps. Six, ten, game ball. Very tactical in these situations. He'll try to sneak through. It's a lovely finish. Gowad picks it up though. Another one. It's two gone, four, three gone of the six game balls. Seven, ten. Obviously, when I said you can safely say we're going to five, I was joking. <laughs> I think you're safely, you're safe Cross to say next. still is still intact for the moment. That's why. Eleven, seven. Game to the one. Game well, if you were wondering if Goward is back, he is. Babyface Assassin is back and his game is intact and he is now levelled up a two-all against the Beast and we are going to a five-game thriller here. Well, there was questions about the physicality, questions about the movement of Gawad, but it seems like he is loosening up, freeing off everything that has been untouched in the 10 months on tour. 
He's moving better now than he was at the start of the game and making life very difficult for Mohamed El Shabagi. Really stretching out the court, testing his movement. And he is up for it, you can hear it, you can see it, you can feel it. What a fifth game we're going to have. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Certainly in Gawad's favour is the fact that it's 45 minutes. I mean, these two have had some absolute monster battles over the years. Gawad winning that famous semi-final in 90 minutes. Channel Vass, he beat Shabagi in 90 minutes as well back in 2019. So this is a, definitely a shorter version of one of their five game battles. And Play given that Gawad's been out seconds. for so long, this is going to help. Shabaki cannot afford to let him get out of the blocks here, Lisa. It's as simple as that. He cannot afford to leave the ball in the middle of the court either. Go back to that third game where he just slowed the pace down and made sure seconds. that he was getting hitting his targets, getting it tight on the wall, glued, making it difficult. Certainly difficult for Gawad to utilise the front corners. Time. Yes. Focus has been in and out. Two games all, the one to serve one each thing. player has one review available. One thing about Shabagi though is he's, over the years, he's shown that he is the master of these sort of come down Level. to the final stand moment. And this is where we're at. Will Shabagi try the quick drop start that he sometimes likes to do? Or is he going to go back to some more conservative, safe play, working go out deep like that. I think the latter. Can't take no risks with Gawad. That forehand, that's been an area with Shabagi we've seen. He's hit a lot of unforced errors. Yes, yeah, little well, mishits. It's almost like he's just not reading it off that wall. I think it's because he can see Lee Beachill in the distance. <laughs> Putting him off. A little no. tangle from Gawad, but no appeal. Now he knew it was gone, and Shabagi starts to vocalise to get his energy systems reactivated. That's a, that's a big call so early and El Shabagi throws his head back. He's think He was thinking about a review, but he knows and he cannot was, afford whoa. to use it so early. I feel that's similar to the first yeah, in game one. I, I should, I just... I'm looking at you thinking the same, Johnny. Video ref, video ref. Oh, that's... Oh, he should just be... That's just a simple okay, let for me. That. Yeah, and good correction there. It's good to see that Ralph Herrenberg's just corrected himself, knowing two one was collision caused El Shabagi to lose his racket. Yes, let two one. Well, that was a gift. Hand out. Two all.
That's a good change. And El Shabagi's really got all of the cylinders upstairs firing Three, because that's the two. second time he's thrown in that boast. He's straightening the ball nicely. And then as the rally lengthens, he just is aware as he had to readjust there. Feels like El Shabagi's just got the house in order upstairs again. It's been a yes, lad. Yes, but you on the way to the ball. Okay. okay. Oh, so he's going to chance his arm with the review. Player review. I feel the ball is a long yes, way away there, Lisa. Yeah, no, you can s clearly see there. There's a lot of distance between Gawad and the ball. And, and the look, hand. Look, yep. Also, look how far back Mohammed is in the court. Now, there, there's no real intent to go and play that. It's, it's the depth. Yes, let decision upheld. The what has no reviews remaining left box 3 2. Fantastic yeah. strength. He's been speeding things up on that forehand side and in contrast right to that backhand where he's sort of just angling it down the wall. It's it's a great 40. just a great sort of parallel that he can use and it seems that he's found the balance again, Lisa. We sort of felt like he's always just on the, on that on that line where he, he, he's so close to getting it right and making it very, very tough for Goward now. Yeah, he's just knuckled down. Like you said, between the ears, focus and the intent with the focus as well. All of a sudden, yeah, that's su the accuracy has just gone through the roof. The awareness of where Goad is on the court as well, so that his shot selection is more dialed in. The accuracy is just, it's there now for Shabagi. Lovely straight work again, and this is hard working rally. And Gawad, I feel, went to Shabagi there. Yes, yeah, he did. Okay. He's, he's unfortunately made a meal can of that continue? one. Well, hopefully, he can continue and he's not hurt anything. But nothing untoward from El Shabagi there. Actually, worked that rally really well. Gave himself the opportunity to volley drop that one. You okay? Can you continue? Okay. Decision is no less. I was expecting that, Lisa. You create your own interference. And he has no review. You create your own interference. There was a free line to the ball, and you go to the man. It's the right call as well. Left box, please. Five, two. Yep. Yeah. Shabagi provided access there through on the left hand side. And he's got a healthy lead now in this fifth game. It's been a real sort of up and down performance from him, but just the experience and the know how of dealing with these tight situations is really giving him the impetus just to find the right balance again.
Town. Huge rally. And down. Three. Physically testing six. rally. Yeah, the longer it went on, I felt like it's just getting better and better for Shabagi. Just we've seen a few of those errors throughout the match where just the, the handwork is just letting down a little bit. Not certainly not what you expect from him, but he's a long way back still here for Goa to dig himself out of this hole. He's got no review either. Oh, oh, deceptive goes. lob, goodness me. Oh, oh he got away with it, El Shabagi. cross quartered that right Hello. into the feet of Gawad. What a gift. Seven, three. Yeah, that's just that match match time experience that you can't buy. You'd never, you'd never see Gawad missing those when he's back in the swing of things. He's missed another one, so it's been a really good phase here from El Shabagi. He's lengthened things out Eight, perfectly, three. taken advantage of the lead and corrected all of the, th you know, the I'll say the little mistakes that he was making in the first four games, Lisa. And out for eight. He just looks a lot more composed within himself, El Shabagi. Now he looks settled. I know it's the fifth game and it's tense, and Gawad's playing very well and he's moving great. But he's just, he just looks more composed, and that's just allowed his squash to also be more composed. The lengthiest rallies that we've seen have come in this fifth game. Oh. Just a classic one too from Goa there. Eight. Playing the forehand straight kill, which set up the put away. And else Al Shabang Shabagi wanders back there. He nobody knows better than him that he needs to make sure that he just keeps a tight hold of the baby faced assassin here. Put a noose around him and don't let don't let him get any kind of looks at any of those hold drops that we know. Two, this time with the boast, following up with a very neat volley drop. Taken low, makes it look easy, of course. It's Six, not easy. Eight. Suddenly, the gap closes again. Well, he keeps shooting, Gawad. Oh, goodness me, those boasts, Lisa. They, no margin on them whatsoever. He's really grown into this game, <laughs> this match. Well, the great news for squash fans anywhere that love to see this guy is we're up towards an hour with El Shabagi, and he's looking great. Physically, he's back. Video ref decision about the Watts appeal. This is just a good, strong... Attacking straight play from El Shabagi. Done nothing wrong there. Cannot see why that would be a let. The grown giveaway from Gawad, the, pre the previous shot, just showing the reason he's sort of stuck there is because he's tired, Lisa. What are we watching for? <laughs> Lisa. Shabagi just asking why the decision hasn't already been made and we get to the right outcome eventually no left hand out nine six
stroke to Shabagi. Well, it's not to be underestimated, just just the sheer amount of mental Ten tickets six. that Shabagi's Match showing four. here. It's 6-8 what Goa was doing. And to come up with these two rallies like that, absolute mark of a champion that he is. And he's just worked his way ever so nicely to four match balls. Can he put him away now? Oh. Not yet. Hand out. Seven, ten. Match ball. Go on, putting it on the wall, not giving him the opportunity to have a look at the nick. Oh, that was a winner all the way. Shabagi did the right thing. He stepped back, made go away. Just couldn't, didn't quite stay on the shot Eight, with the with the ten. wrist action. Match ball. That's what pressure does, Lisa. Does it to the best of us. That was a chance. Interesting. To be fair, since 8-4 down, where Goa made Nine, those two errors, ten. he's been Match very, ball. very good. He's lifted his quality, and you do not want to have him in that front left corner having a look at a whole drop, because I'll tell you where it's going. It's going in the nick. He's gone for the leisure. 11-9. Match to El Shubagi. Well, unconventional finish three. there, but El Shubagi... 11, he was three, the better player throughout 7, the fifth 11, game 11, in the phases 8, where 7, he was in control. 11, he certainly 11, looked 9. the stronger, but massive credits to Karim Abdul Gawad. He is back on the PSA Tour. It's a wonderful thing because he's one of the most watchable players aesthetically. And that was a really, really good old fashioned titanic struggle. Shabagi sneaks through 11 9 in the fifth. Well, incredible choice there. <laughs> he pulled that cross, that leisure centre across him, and you wouldn't have thought that Goa would miss one there, but he was a little bit rushed on that shot. Sixty-three minutes. A little bit shorter than perhaps their previous five-game battles, but it wasn't short of spectacular action and Mohamed El Shabagi is going to have a chat with MC Mike Absalom right now. Mohamed, congratulations. <laughs> a bit of a nervy finish there. How was that for you? Yeah, very happy to get through. You know, Gawad has been out for a very long time. I played Gawad all my life and uh, the worst times playing him is always when he's not feeling yeah. as fit as he likes to be because that's when he goes for it. And I hate it when he goes for it because he's super, super talented and you know you're going to have to do a lot of work when you play him. Uh, very good to, uh, very, I mean, it's amazing to have him back on tour, amazing to see him playing well. Definitely played, uh, took it up a much, uh, another level from his first match. Um, but expected, he's going to get better every day, he's going to get better every tournament. Good to have him back, but glad to get through. And then on your own game, it seemed to be working a lot better. You're mixing it up, it was short rallies to start with, then you lengthen those and you seem to get better results. Yeah, I mean, uh, talk about the way I played, I'm not very happy if I'm honest with you, you know, like, uh, Played a lot of loose shots, lots of lots of shots around the middle, and you, when you play Gawa, it doesn't matter if he if he can move or he can't move. You know he's gonna kill you with that. You know even if he's on one even if he's on one leg, he's gonna kill you when you play a lot of cross courts or, uh, down the middle. Uh, so it's it's a it's a very fast front wall, and it it makes the players want to hit the ball hard all the time. Uh, and for me, because that's actually even my natural game, so it makes me go crazy sometimes on court when I have a court like this. Instead of focusing on hitting my corners, hitting my accuracy. Uh, but when I, before that fifth game, you know, I kind of had to, it was all mental. Uh, I, I thought I, I had a big advantage, you know, having him being out for a very long time. In those kind of moments, you know, it's, it's all mentally at the end of the match. And uh, uh, lucky enough for me, because he was away, you know, it, it played to my advantage in the fifth game. And, uh, and yeah, I'm just, just, just glad I got through at the end. Good stuff. We'll see you in the quarterfinals. Well done. Thank you.
Well, we were unsure what we were going to get from the baby-faced assassin. Physically, was he able to match that intensity that Mohamed El Shabagi possesses? But yes, he did. Yes is the answer. Absolutely did. Five sets made it very difficult for Mohamed El Shabagi, who had to go up every gear that he had mentally and physically. But in the end, that experience and match practice that he's had recently took him through and he is through to the next round. Well, that was a fantastic way to finish this afternoon session. We're working our way through the second round still on day, on day three here. Tina Gillis, very, very strong win there. Three love against Al Arabi, who was suffering a little bit. And Mazen Hesham beating Yusuf Solomon, who also seemed to be just a little bit off colour. Amanda Sobi once again keeping that head to head intact over Salma Hani. And there you saw it. Mohamed El Shabagi, 11 9 in the fifth, in a very entertaining affair against Gawad. So 5.30 local time. We look forward to having you back here on Squash TV. Hani El Hamami and Frida Muhammad. We'll see you then.